And WJZ is live. Kimberly Eaton with why school leaders say it is important that students prepare for the worst. Kimberly? Well, Denise, school leaders tell me that they want their students to know how they should react in any kind of emergency situation, including if they are unfortunately faced with an active shooter. Inside this historic Catholic girls' school in the heart of Baltimore, <laughs> students train Friday. Preparing for a situation that no student should have to face, but so many have. Whether it be in an active shooter situation or a fire or any kind of crisis management, they have the opportunity to try to defend themselves if the situation calls for that. Institute of Notre Dame Assistant Head of School Lisa Wetzel. Is that we really want our girls to know that they can be an active partner in trying to keep themselves safe. A potentially life-saving lesson with defense tactics learned from actual deadly attacks in schools across the nation. One year ago in Parkland, Florida, a former student opened fire inside a high school, killing 17 students and staff and injuring 17 others. I want my son. And one week ago inside a Baltimore high school, gunfire again. Police say 25-year-old Neil Davis came to Frederick Douglass armed and angry, looking for revenge on a staff member who had allegedly disciplined his sister, who was a student at the West Baltimore School. Davis shot and wounded a 56-year-old assistant basketball coach as kids heard the gunfire, not knowing what may come next. Someone came in my classroom running like, oh my God, there's a gunshot. Should the unthinkable happen here or anywhere, Wetzel says her students will now be better prepared. They're not always within these walls, so when they walk outside of these walls, they need to have the skills to be able to deal with any situation that they're presented with. And they broke up that training into two different sessions today so that every single student would get that kind of hands-on experience that you saw in our video. Reporting live this afternoon, I'm Kimberly Eaton for WJZ.